So we need a base, something like this. Okay, so I want to put a, a radius in there, like that, both sides. So this container has 14 millimeters diameter. So I think that will look about okay. So I've got a fly cutter in here set to a 16 millimeter radius. So it's equivalent to a 32mm cutter. So obviously in the vertical position, if I traverse it across the work, it will cut a flat surface. So you can regard a flat surface as an infinite radius. If I turn it through 90 degrees and traverse it across the work, it will cut a 16mm radius. But we're looking for a 20mm radius. So somewhere between this being horizontal and vertical or between 90 degrees and 0 degrees there's an angle at which it will cut a 20 millimeter radius. There's an old timers formula for this. So the angle at which you need to rotate the head is equal to the inverse sine of the um, diameter of the cutter divided by two times the radius uh, required. So in our case it is um, 32 millimeters is the cutter diameter divided by two times the radius will be 40. Okay so the inverse sine of uh, 32 diameter of the cutter divided by 40 diameter and radius required equals 53 degrees so the head's pretty close but I think we've got enough clearance Okay, I think that looks pretty good, quite smooth as well. Okay, I'll do the other side exactly the same, see what it looks like. Oh, it's looking pretty good. So we just want to put a radius in here and a radius in here. So the cutter is uh, the cutter cuts a 16 millimeter radius. 
so, uh, when it's in the vertical position so I think we'll just set it vertical and take those out Looking good. Got a couple of posts in. So we need a square block to go across here. Radius the end. Put a hole in. Hole in for there. Hole in for here. Give it a bit of shape, go a bit out the bottom, should be good. So I've also machined the recess on the underside there. So it just remains to radius the end. So I've made up a pin, a couple of 12 millimeter discs. So I'll use them as a guide and we'll start off in the milling machine. Okay so these discs are 12 millimeter. And I've got the cutter set just slightly over 12 millimeters from the edge of the vise. So if I put those in up against the vise, edge of the vise like that, I can take a cut along there. it up a bit like that the 
bit more. Okay, that's all the parts made. So I've got a post for the front here which screws in. Got a spring, a leaf spring. So I made this from a piece of uh, broken bandsaw blade, which with a cobalt high speed steel drill drills very easily. Seems to work quite well. And then we've got a rear post. And the arm. And the adjustment screw. So that adjusts the height very nicely. And we have the uh, scriber and its holder. And the scriber goes in, fits in there. A nice fit. Clamping screw or clamping nut, I should say. Beautiful. Let's try it out. So okay, that's so early, I will try 15 millimeters. So now we can adjust the height. Check it with an eye loop. Drawings are available.